Right, today we're checking this Adri off. Lovely van, really nice van. Uh, one thing I have checked off already is if you come round here, I've checked the leisure bathroom. Now, for such a nice van, for such a well laid out van, I'm a bit disappointed about where they put the leisure bathroom. As you can see, it's a nice big van. Yeah, lovely sized van. Loads of room, loads of compartments. Where do they put the leisure battery? It's actually there. Under the passenger seat. That, to actually do any work on the leisure battery would mean taking the seat off. What we have done, we've slid the seat forward, we've managed to put our live connection on the back there of our multimeter and use that earth there so that we could do a check to make sure the battery was charging on the hookup and then we also start the engine and we made sure the battery's charging off the engine as well so we've done that already but like I say, a bit disappointed where they, where they fitted that the switch you can see there that's an isolation valve for your leisure battery so you can totally isolate your leisure battery let's go and see you Mason? what? I've got my cameraman yeah? Have you gone to your head all of a sudden, look, look, look. all this fame and fortune see, or everything? See, I, can, hey. I can talk to you now without talking, you know, and you can see me. So, Jaden's setting over the camera for me. So now we can work together. But instead of me standing watching you work. <laughs> yeah, you can do something now, can't you? Yeah, yeah. So I've just explained what we've done with the leisure battery. Yeah. Uh, how disappointed I am where they've actually... Oh, you weren't disappointed when you were doing the review though, were you? Oh, no. You were no. saying how amazing it was. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't know where the leisure battery was there. <laughs> so, right, so we, we're going to check the van off. So we've got various stages that we're checking off. Uh, we have actually done a gas test on it. What are you doing now, Jason? Waiting for you. All right. Right. Uh, should we do the 240 volt check? Let's do 240. Right. So what we've got now, we've got a device that we've connected up to the hookup. So as you can see there, we've got our readings on there. It's showing a reading at the moment, which is 212, which is just basically, that's the battery charger because we're on hookup. We've got lights and stuff on. So that's the battery charger that's keeping the, uh, keeping the battery charged up. What we'll do then is we'll operate some of the appliances. So when Jason comes back. Right, where have you been? <laughs> We're going to do the 240. Yeah, I'm going to do the fridge at the same time. Look. All right, okay. You are reading at the moment 29 degrees. <laughs> like a sniper. <laughs> Call an airstrike, you mean? Right, where's my check sheet? So, first thing we're going to do, even though this has got a 12 volt compressor fridge, uh, which is quite a good size 12 volt compressor fridge. What Jason's doing now, he's setting the temperature reading in it, he's going to switch it on, so what you will see is an increase in the wattage we're using. So we've got no gas on this then, don't we? we cannot no gas. Off no. The list. So you see an increase in the wattage because obviously the battery charger will have to kick in and... Right. Yep. So if you look at the reading there, and it should start to increase. And as you can see now it's increasing. That tells us, without waiting for ages for the fridge to get cold, that the fridge is actually working. But there's no, we still know. like it to get cold. But we still like it to get so cold. So we'll run that all day in a minute. Yep. So in a minute we'll run that all day. Uh, next thing we'll check, if you come around and look up at the screen up there where Jason is, he's now going to put the heating on. You put it on one kilowatt? No, I'm putting it up to 30 degrees. Alright. So if you look down here right. now, once Jason set that. You're right. Yep. And then you'll see the wattage increase there. You hear the click. There you go now, and you can see it increasing there. There you go. So we're there on two kilowatt. Are you going down to one kilowatt? Yeah, down to one. So now we'll look at it again. And it's dropped down now to one kilowatt. So we know that both elements are working on, on the heating system. It'll work on one kilowatt, it'll work on two kilowatt. The system does also work on gas, which we'll be checking after. Job for you, Kev. Job for me. If you remember, when we reviewed the bit, you, uh, you, broke, you mean you broke no, something? No, 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 you broke it. <laughs> no, you broke it. So, <laughs> so everything Jason touches turns to scrap. So, uh, as you can see, it's broke this. Fair pieces are, aren't we? 
heavy ambient yeah, Henry. Stack charge your heat up life. Hang on, Kevin, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. 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 We're right. back on that. Yeah. What I will do, Jace, is if I put this here. Roll. Here. Here. Yeah. Because with the holes are too big there, aren't they? So now we can lock it in. There we go. Next one, them lights there, that'll do these lights work. So it's the outside. And we've got a faulty one. Don't work, mate. Why didn't you do that in the men? Let's get some water to the van because you're old and be back. I'm oh, did you see this? Come look at this. Look. I'm old. What's that? A little extractor fan. Yeah. And look there. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's a light, Jason. Oh, it's not the light. It's the light on there, isn't it? Yeah. I will thought that lit up. It's that light there, isn't it? It's oh, not. it has. It does light up. It does. Oh, yeah. Jason, I'm going down in the world. <laughs> Jason. Jason. <laughs> Come on. You're speaking of professional operation here. Right, let's get some water in the van. Right. Topic, what are you doing? Got them in my pocket, isn't it? What, what you've also got for water, the water goes in here, you've actually got a little 12 volt socket there. Um, what we've got in the garage is on the other side, just pass me that, Joyce. That, ho that hose, the pump, little water pump. There you go. So if you're on site and you're not near a tap, what this is, is you flick your cap off. He says, flick your cap off. Drop that into your water butt, this end into the water butt. Plug that in, and as you can hear now, you've got a water pump, so that'll pump the water out of the water container and into the van. Yeah. See it? I've seen it, yeah, there's a little spanner clips above it. There. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. There's something there like that. There was a clue to where the leisure bathroom was anyway, because the jack and wheel breaches here. <laughs> no, no, we're in the passenger seat. Right, so, this has been made, this is. Yeah, that's an extra, that. This floor, this floor's been made as an extra. Uh, right, we'll get some water. Get some water, back. Could be worse, could have been you. Yeah. Yeah, We're now filling the van. What Jason's doing is checking the filler hose in the back there to make sure that there's no leaks on the hose that runs from here down into the tank. Is that you? What? Is that you dribbling? I dribble then, yeah. Right, the drain off's in here as well. Yeah. Do you want to go around there with Jason and just have a look and show you where the drain off is? There you go, look, the drain off's working. There's a knob in here. Not out there, in here. <laughs> <laughs> little knob in here, Kev, that you turn. Little knob? Yeah. <laughs> There's one in here and one out there. <laughs> Yeah. You be very careful what you say, I've got a hosepipe in the hand, eh? Hey? You be careful what you say when I've got a hosepipe in the hand. <laughs> that's a point. Right, that's looking good. 